YouTube welcome back to my channel so today we are doing a lock talk video if you're new to my channel make sure you subscribe if you are a previous viewer then you know that I used to do lock talks which are basically me coming to you guys with an update about my locks um, today was wash day for me wait real quick if you see this little circle thing going on these lights it's because of my studio lights. so just try your best to ignore it it's the best we got right now with this poor lighting. But anyways, so um, today was wash day for me. So today I washed my locks. Um, I want to say two to three weeks ago, I actually got my locks done by my loctician. And she did like this really cute um, style where there was like two barrel twists. But as the week went on, or should I say as the weeks went on, I noticed a lot of buildup and like product flaking in my hair. So that started to bug the crap out of me. I don't like having product buildup and I don't like um, like seeing white flakes in my hair. So I took the style out and I was like, okay, well, I don't really see the flakes anymore. I think I can just get away with not washing my hair for another week or so. But as this previous week went on, I started seeing like a lot of white stuff and white buildup just all up in here like just everywhere it was annoying it was very annoying so today I washed my hair um, it's actually still pretty damp right now um, honestly I would just leave my hair like this and go through the rest of the week but I work at a hospital and it's really it's not a super duper professional setting um, like I'm a secretary so we have to wear like these blazers and dress pants and like a white button up shirt type deal type deal. So it's not super duper dressy, but it's not casual either. But you still just don't or I still don't want to just go to work looking any kind of way, um, especially when working in corporate America, should I say. And we already know that people with dreadlocks and locks get stereotyped often um, and they get discriminated against unfortunately so i try to have my locks look somewhat mannered or somewhat done or somewhat groomed um so i'm gonna i think i'm gonna do a braid out i think i'm just gonna braid them into like three and then take it out tomorrow morning um and that way when i go to work it'll be like a late a wavy type look to it so real quickly what i use to wash my hair now because i had so much build up i actually used two different shampoos the first shampoo i used was hopefully you guys can see it um it's the shea moisture african black soap deep cleansing shampoo it's for dry itchy scalp um dandruff eczema psoriasis um and it's sulfate free it has tea tree oil and willow bark extract now this is just something that i honestly had laying around um we all know that when you are a loose natural and you're going through like your twa stage and your fro stage and all this stuff you buy all these products and you become a product junkie so when i was loose natural i went through that phase and i bought like every product by shea moisture because i was like i have to have it so and so put up a youtube video and said it's the best product out i have to go get it so I have things still laying around from my natural hair days um, or should I say my loose natural hair days so this is just something that I had under my sink so I said why not use this especially because it said deep cleansing and I knew that I had all that buildup going on and my scalp was very itchy so I figured I couldn't lose using that so I went in first with that when I washed my hair by the way I washed my hair in the shower so I went in first with that and then I mixed it with this Tresemme, what is this? Tresemme Advanced Technology Instantly Locks in Moisture. It's like, a, it's called Moisture Rich with Vitamin E, Luxurious Moisture for Dry Damaged Hair. Um, these, these two bottles I've had for the longest. I bought like the biggest bottles. I don't even know what prompted me to buy this. Like it wasn't necessarily a YouTube video that I saw or it wasn't nothing or advertisement i think it was just the fact that i was tired of running out of shampoo and conditioner and i went and bought the biggest bottles that i could find in my beauty supply store once again these products are very old i've had them for a long time um it's something that i used when i was in my natural loose natural hair stage so this was the shampoo so i'm i used this one after i went in with the shea moisture so i used this one just for an extra cleanse i usually wash my hair about twice Anyway, when I'm in the shower, I try to, you know, do two rounds of shampoo. And then for the conditioner, I just used the same thing. I don't know if it's going to focus. But the Tresemme Advanced Technology Moisture Rich with Vitamin E Luxurious Moisture <laughs> Conditioner. And both of these products honestly work very well for me. Like, I'm probably going to buy them again. One, they last forever because you're getting such 
these is 32 ounces so you're getting such a um, large bottle and two I really do tell I really can tell the difference um, in the moistureness moistureness is that even a word in the moistness and um, hydration I guess of my hair like my my hair does feel a lot more less dry should I say when I use those products and it's always a lot softer so those two will probably just be something that's in my hair regimen or my hair care regimen for a long time um I to be honest I don't really have a hair care regimen I'm gonna be honest with you guys I don't do a whole lot to my hair I don't retwist my hair a whole lot um I only wash my hair when I feel that it is beyond itchy, if that makes sense. So when my scalp starts to itch a lot, and or if it gets a smell, because I sweat in my scalp also. So if I start to smell, like smell a, a smell, or if I start to feel really itchy, then that's when I go ahead and watch it, wash my hair. So it's not like I have a schedule where I wash my hair every two weeks or every three weeks. It's nothing like that. It's kind of just I wash as needed. Um, so that's really all I use. Um, like I said, this was the only thing I added extra because typically I don't do this one. I just do the Tresemme, the Tresemme line. And then um, as far as what I do after it, I towel dry it, which I know some people are big against that. They're like, no, you're not supposed to towel dry your hair or whatever. I towel dry my hair. Um, and then this is one of my favorite products. I don't know if it'll focus. Whatever, it's not going to focus, but it's Talia Wajid Strengthener Therapeutic Formula treat with tea tree oil, coconut oil. It's supposed to stop itchy scalp, um, minor skin irritations, minor scalp irritations, sorry, and add sheen with non-greasy formula. This is not the top that belongs on here. It has a, a black top, but the reason I like this, I don't know if it's going to focus. The reason I like this is because you can see like the ingredients in it. And that just really makes me feel like what I'm putting in my hair is natural. I mean, I'm pretty sure, I mean, this is not an all natural product anyway, but that little, those little specks in there is what is like the medicine part of the scalp. It's like the therapeutic part of it. It really makes your hair feel like, I don't know, it gives it like this tingly feeling. And it smells really good. So usually this is just what I put in my hair. Um, I have some, like I have a really bad itchy scalp. So this, ever since I found this, it is a stable for me. And it lasts a while. I've had this bottle for a while now. Um, it's, it's like six ounces. So yeah. So right now we're going to go in. And like I said, I'm not retwisting anything. I'm just going to... Um, what do I say? I'm just going to braid them so that I can do a braid out. I don't honestly, you guys, I'm really lazy when it comes to my hair. Like I don't have the energy to retwist my hair. I don't have the energy <laughs> to do a lot when it comes to my hair. So a lot of times if I wash it, I just leave it looking like this until I decide to go get it done. Um, like in the beginning of my journey, like when I first started my locks, I was going to a loctician, um, just, you know, for the regular maintenance that you have to do when you start them. So, of course, she did like my, she started them and then she did my first retwist and my first wash and things like that. But, like, after that six months was over, like that first six months, I was like, I got this. I can do it myself. And I was just washing my hair um, and retwisting my hair all on my own. And I was like, I don't need a stylist. I'm not going to go to a stylist. I can do it myself. Why pay the extra money? So, I was doing it myself for a long time. Like, I was starting to get real good at palm rolling. Um, I was becoming quicker. Like, I would finish my hair I want to say like 30 minutes to an hour most of the time 30 minutes tops um and I was like yeah I could do this like I'm saving my coins blah 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 and then now that my hair I'm at two years now by the way so that's like between the six month mark and I want to say the first year mark that I was like all about me doing it and saving coins and this that the third I'm now at two years and three months yeah two years and three months and now that my locks are longer <laughs> and thicker I don't have the energy to do my hair myself like I, I'm just like lazy I'm like I don't want to do it I don't want to deal with it it's too thick it's too much work my arms start to hurt that's just me so um like I said lately I've been going to this other loctician now she's not the one that started my locks but she has done my hair so many times before um like she does braids and kinky twists and you know marley twists and things like that so that's how I know her and that's how I met her so she did my hair I want to say two or three weeks ago and here we are now and I would just go back to her and let her do it 
but I'm trying to save my money. I'm trying to save my coins. And plus, I don't want to put that much stress on my hair. I feel like getting your hair done every three weeks or retwisting your hair every three weeks, that may work for some people, but that's not something that I personally like to do. Um, I don't like putting a bunch of tension and pulling and yanking on my locks. Like I feel like that's just going to cause breakage over time. So that's another reason why I kind of don't have a set um schedule or set regimen for my hair because i'm more so of a carefree person i'm more so of just let it grow let it be free let it do what it's going to do let it flourish don't always feel like you have to have every little piece of hair and every little strand and every little you know piece of frizz intact like just let your hair be and it will grow and it will flourish and before you know it you'll be like dang it's only been two years and my hair is this long so um, that's just how I feel. That's my take on locks. Like you can have your own opinion, but that's just always been my take on locks is the less you do, the less you touch it, the less you play with it, the more it will flourish. And I kind of had to learn, learn that the hard way, <laughs> if that makes sense. Because um, throughout my loose natural hair journey, I was always the type like, I got to wash it. It's been two weeks. I got to wash it. Or it's been two weeks. I got to put this treatment on it. Or I got to buy this product because so-and-so said this product is good. Or I got to do this twist out because if I don't do this twist out tonight, then tomorrow won't look like anything. Always had my hands in my hair. Always was touching. Always was doing something, manipulating it, you know, just just doing too much, too much. And my hair started to break and I had breakage and it was the worst thing ever. I had to like cut this part of my hair. It's too much. I will link the videos down below. They are still on my channel if you want to go look at them, but because they're so old, it may be hard to find. So I'll just link it down below. That way you can see exactly what I'm talking about. But I had break up, breakage like all up in here. Like back here was fine, but all up in here, <laughs> was broken off and I had to like basically cut my hair and I didn't want to do a big chop all over again. So I cut just what was broken. And when I say cut, I mean cut all the way down. So that's another reason why my locks are uneven because once this section grew back, I was like, okay, it's time to start your locks. No more playing games. It's time to start them. So that's why the back is so much longer than the front because I started with uneven hair, which is not a big deal. I mean, honestly, truly, my locks just have a layered look in my opinion like it look it's longer down here and then it gets shorter and um it's not a huge deal i mean i am starting to notice now that it's kind of at an awkward stage let me take it down one more time where it's kind of at an awkward stage so like sometimes if i'm wearing my hair just down you'll see like short long 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 so i mean it's not that bad some days it does bother me but it's not a huge deal, like I said. Eventually, these will catch up to these, and I'll probably just cut them all the same length once they get a little bit longer. But right now, I'm okay with this layer look. Oh, and that's another thing. I did combine... I feel like I'm jumping, jumping subjects. But, you know, this is a lock talk, and I haven't done one of these in a long time. So I feel like it's a lot to update you guys on. Um, or not even a lot to update you guys on, but there's a lot that's happened since the last time I did a lock talk. But like I was saying, I did combine some of my locks. Now, the way I combined them, I just two-strand twisted them together and kept a rubber band on them. So, like, this is one. Ugh, see, I missed the spot. You see this white stuff? This is what I was talking about, but it was a lot more like it was gooped and gunked, but whatever. It's not a big deal. So this is one of them that I combined. Um, here's another one that I combined. And for the most part, they're combined right here. But you, when you get down here, they're still very loose, which is why I still have the rubber band on it. Um, I'm hoping that it will just grow out some more and then I can like cut cut off what is what I don't need and that way it would just stay combined and I don't have to have that rubber band on there I'm trying to find another one because I know there's a couple of more here's some over here this one is a combined one so there's quite a few that I've combined just by doing the two strand twist method and my main reason here's another one <laughs> my main reason for combining them is just because I felt like some locks weren't as thick 
as the other ones. And I know not every lock is gonna be the same size. Sorry if I keep looking this way, my window is open. But I know not every lock is gonna be the same size. But for me, it was more so about that lock being thicker and having a stronger base so that I know it won't snap or break off in the future. Because like I tell everybody, I plan to go to the grave with my locks. Like I don't plan to ever cut these like like, I don't know what else you want me to say. Like, we're going to the grave together. Like, I'm going to have locks the rest of my life. Um, so I was, like, seeing some that were a little too thin, in my opinion. And the base didn't look, like, let me find one that's pretty. Like, this one, for example. This is all one lock. And this is not one that I combined. This is just one that was thick on its own. So I kind of was, like, I want them to have this thick, healthy consistency from root to tip and some of them were uh, too small like too skinny and I was like that lock is not going to make it that lock is going to snap that lock is going to break and then I'm going to be missing the lock or you know sometimes people's locks do that two-headed dragon thing I just don't want no parts of it I don't want no breakage I don't want no two-headed dragons I don't want no splitting I don't want no snapping of the locks none of that <laughs> so that's why I was like I need my locks to be to all have a strong base, to all have a thick base. They don't have to be the same size, they don't have to be the same width, they don't have to be the same length, but they at least need to all have a strong base so that I know, you know, we're not gonna have no problems later on down the line, 10, six years from now. So, yeah. So anyways, let's get to um, two strand twisting or, or whatever we're gonna do because it's getting late. I'm getting tired. I've done so much today, you guys. Like, oh my gosh, I'm tired. And today's my day off, and I feel like <laughs> I didn't even get no rest. But um, I should have bought a spray bottle in here because my hair, I can tell, is not um, going to stay loose. I mean, stay loose. My hair is not going to stay damp like I want it to. So I'm only going to do a few on camera just because if I was to do all of them, you guys would probably hate me and not watch the whole video because it'd be so long and, and dreadful. Um, dreadful. <laughs> I'm corny. But anyways, um, I'm only going to do a few just so you can see what it is I'm doing. But I'm pretty sure you all know how to braid a lock together, how to two-strand twist. And, you know, I'm sure you've seen other videos. But this is just how I do it. And like I said, I don't have no method to doing my hair. And I don't have no certain way that I do it. I literally just slap some of this stuff that I showed you guys before into the root of my hair. Make sure I get it. Maybe I should turn it a little bit so you guys can see. And I'm going to take just three. And this is not a tutorial anyway. This is not nothing like that. This is just me showing you guys what I do so I don't want to see no comments saying I can't see what you're doing or you're not doing that right or you should have done this no none of that this is just me showing you guys how I'm going to prepare my hair for the rest of this week because I do have to go to work so yep we're just braiding you know standard braid nothing special and then I'm going to put uh, one of these little rubber bands just a white rubber band on the end and I you can use whatever color or band you want I use white because it's easier in the morning for the takedown process because sometimes when I used to do this I used to like when I used to use black rubber bands I would be missing some so like in the morning I'm thinking I done took them all down and I still got some braids or some twists that I didn't that I done missed because <laughs> I didn't notice it so with the white rubber band it in my opinion it just stands out more um, like I can see what needs to still be taken down if that makes sense. That probably didn't make no sense to y'all, but I know what I meant. So we're on to our second one. And like I said, we're just regular braiding it. I'm not even doing it no specific way. I'm just braiding it. Uh, and that's the other thing. You can't even, even though, like I said, I work in... A hospital and it's more like a professional setting there are some days where I'm basically just like screw it screw it like I don't care like my hair is my hair and I'm, I'm aware how I like it so there's been times where I've went a long time and when I say a long time I mean a long time without a retwist or without doing anything like I mean I would just wash it and then I would go to work the next day and because I washed it now my roots are extremely thick 
and my locks are extremely thick and my hair is pretty much just thick and looking you know just looking like it needs to be retwisted and I've, I've gotten comments where it's mainly just one particular lady she's a little bit older than me and she has sister locks and she was said she would say things like oh you don't retwist your hair oh you don't tighten your locks why not why not that type of thing i think the very first time i met her this is this is actually a slight story time now that i think about it the very first time i met her mind you i've only been at this job since october we're now in march so i was new and nobody really knew me so um the very first time I met her, the very first time she said something to me, she said I was like walking, you know, the opposite way of her. And she was sitting at the computer and my back was towards her. And I heard her say, are those locks? But, you know, because I don't know her and she doesn't know me and my back was towards her. I didn't really, you know, I didn't turn around and say anything. I'm like, OK, maybe she didn't say that. Maybe she, maybe I miss hearing her. Maybe she's talking to somebody else about something else. So, you know, I didn't say nothing. So I turned around and, you know, I'm just continuing to do what I'm doing. She said, um, she, she was like, oh, no, before I turned around, she said to the other nurse that was standing near her, because I work at a hospital, remember? She said to the other nurse that was standing near her, she said, what's her name? Like, whispering it, talking about me, like, asking the other nurse what my name is. So the nurse told her my name, and she said, Amber. After she asked the nurse what my name is, she said, she said Amber, are, are those locks? And I look at her, and I'm like, Yes. <laughs> like, what do you mean? Are those locks? And so, so I'm like, yeah, um, they're locks. And she said, oh, um, why are they so thick? How, like, how are they so thick? Uh, like, what are they? And I said, they're locks. I, and I said, she said, how do you get them so thick? I said, well, when I started my journey and I went to the loctician, I told her I wanted thicker locks. So she made my base, you know, the base of my lock bigger thicker she parted them she sectioned them big like that's how I got bigger locks that's how I got thicker locks plus not to mention my hair has always been thick so then she just was like oh and you know kind of like oh like brushed it off and I'm thinking to myself you don't know me from a can of paint you had to ask somebody what my name was and but you have you feel like you have the audacity or you have the right to ask me about my hair then question me I mean she she wasn't straight up insulting me but I kind of took it that way because I'm like you know you you kind of had to see her face expressions honestly and don't forget I, like I said she has sister locks so her locks are a lot thinner and a lot smaller than mine and she um this so you know they're different. They look a lot different. So I just was like, whatever. And I brushed it off. I didn't say nothing else. She didn't say nothing else. I kind of just left it alone. So I want to say two or three months later, I saw her again. And she was like, and this is around the time I didn't have no retwist, no style, no nothing. I just was letting my hair be free like I normally do. And she was like, how come you never, um, how come you never tighten your locks, girl? You need to tighten your locks before they snap off. And, and, you know, um, what'd she say? Before they snap off. She said something like before they snap off or something like that. And I said, I don't retwist my hair. I said, I don't put no pressure on my hair or no tension and they're not ever going to snap off. I said, that doesn't even make any sense. And she was like, well, I, th I tighten my locks. I tighten my locks every night. I do about 20 of them a night because keep in mind, um, sister locks are a lot smaller. So although I have 104 locks in my head, she may have triple that because they're sister locks. So she's like, I tighten about 20 of them every night. And I'm looking at her like, okay, like what does that have to do with me? So I was like, well, I don't retwist my hair that often. And she was like, hmm. She's like, I can't do what you do because um, then you'll just be setting me up. You know, like just saying all this stuff. And the whole time, y'all, I'm standing there, or I'm sitting at my desk, actually. And I'm sitting there looking at her like, I didn't ask you any of this. Like, you know, I was sitting there literally minding my business. And she's asking me, or she's coming to me saying stuff about my locks. And, and you know, basically comparing our locks when you can't compare them because Yours are sister locks and mine are traditional locks, thick locks. Even if you had, even if she had traditional locks like me, you still can't compare them because everybody's hair is different. I don't know why people don't understand that. Everybody's hair is different. No matter, 
if you got 4C hair and I got 4C hair, our hair is still different. What works for me is not going to work for you. What I put in my hair may not be the same thing you put in your hair. I could use Cantu Shea Butter and get the best curls. You can use Cantu Shea Butter and your hair might not get, give you a curl at all. You know what I'm saying? So I just was looking at her like, okay. And mind you, this is the second time <laughs> that she had come to me, you know, I'm not going to say backwards, but she come to me... <laughs> Just out the random with some crazy comment about my hair. So at this point, I'm looking at her like, you must be a hater. Like, you must be mad about something. So again, I brushed it off. I didn't say nothing. So a couple of months down the line, and we don't work in the same area, which is why most of the time when I see her, it's like months and months later. So a few months later, I want to say this is in January because I got my hair done in January for my birthday. So my hair was done. And she came around the corner, and she was like, oh, my, and my back is towards her again, y'all. Like, my back is always towards her. I don't know why she be coming out. She just be coming out of nowhere. So my back is towards her, and I hear her voice, and her voice is very distinct, so that's how I knew it was her. But she's like, oh, look who got, look who got their hair done. Look who finally tightened their locks, da 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 And I'm like, dang, <laughs> why are you so, like, why are you on me? Why? Why? why mind y'all like i said this is a grown tail woman i'm 23 so i'm grown too but she grown grown like grown with kids grown married grown <laughs> living on her own that type of grown um and you know i just feel like why are you worried about me why are you on me why do you care like what what is it that about me that makes you so attracted or makes you so concerned about what i'm doing with my locks like what so I just, you know, I just laughed and I just brushed it off because that's who I am. I'm not the one that's going to start. I don't like confrontation and I don't like starting things. So I, although some of you probably be like, you way too nice. I would have said this that third. Hey, whatever. I'm in my workplace. I'm the new girl. I'm not trying to start nothing. So I just, you know, laughed and brushed it off. And, you know, I seen her. That was in January. I seen her times after that and I guess she finally gave it up because she don't even say nothing about me no more I see her she sees me and we kind of just look each other and go our separate ways but you know it's just so annoying to me you know some people they're unhappy with what they got so they try to comment on what you have and make it seem like what you have is not nothing or not nothing they want should I say that's how I look at it so because she has sister locks I feel like she sees other people with locks that's way different from hers. And she probably looking like, dang, why can't my hair be like that? Dang. <laughs> but yeah, I just had to tell you guys that quick story time because like I said, working in corporate America, not even corporate America, you could work for retail or you could work for, shoot, I don't know. You can work anywhere and get discriminated against or get hate com hateful comments. Like it doesn't matter. That's just people just don't know what to say out of their mouths these days, and they don't think before they speak. They just speak. <laughs> so, it is what it is. But that's just something that I encountered um, since working at this job that I have now. I think I finished the back. Oh, this one needs to be put somewhere. Um, but yeah, these are my braids. I'm a do something with this one because I kind of forgot about this one. I still got to do the top. But this is just what I have so far. So it's just braids. And like I said, I'm going to take them out tomorrow and hope that my hair is like wavy, has like a wavy effect or some type of crinkle to it. Just so that they're not, they're not straight, should I say. I don't even know if y'all can see them. Yeah. But yeah, I'm going to go ahead. I've noticed that um, I've been getting a lot of positive feedback because I haven't been doing no type of lock videos or lock updates. I've been doing vlogs, so, and I noticed I've been getting some positive feedback on the vlogs. So I'm happy that you guys are liking them and enjoying them. But just remember and keep in mind that you can always comment if there's a specific type of video or a specific topic that you want me to talk about. Um, I'm really open-minded, and I'm really free to record anything. And I don't mind. Um... And then also keep in mind that my channel is more so a combination type channel. Like, it's not just going to be vlogs and it's not just going to be car vlogs and things like that. Like, I'm going to be doing different stuff on here. Like, as you can see, today you got a lock talk video. Um, and today's Monday. And usually there is no video on Monday because I work. So, today you got a lock talk. Um, you guys know that I'm off 
every Wednesday. And usually that's our day that we do our vlogs. So you'll probably get a, a vlog, or not probably, but you're going to get a vlog on Wednesday, which is like a day or two away. So just keep in mind, my, my channel my channel is a big variety of things. Um, so yeah, don't ever hesitate to comment and say, oh, I want to see you do a video talking about your job. Or, oh, I want to see you do a video talking about... I don't know, <laughs> your your opinion on this topic or whatever. I don't know, guys. I don't know. Whatever you want to see, just let me know. And don't ever hesitate to give me feedback as well because I do like feedback. So I'm going to do like two more and then I'm going to wrap this video on up. I think it's about 20, 25 minutes long. That's a good, <laughs> good amount. And I think I covered everything I wanted to come to you guys about um like i said i haven't talked to you guys about my locks in a long time so i'm gonna get off this camera and i'm gonna focus on finishing and i will see you guys on wednesday bye youtube see you later thanks for watching don't forget to like comment and subscribe and always feel free to leave comments i love reading you guys' comments and i love seeing what you guys like like about my videos and how you guys feel so like i said i'll see you in the next one bye